Hi friends, Jin here from Jin Tea. If this is your first time watching our video, we share information about Chinese tea and tea culture. Please consider subscribe if you like the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to brew Tia Guan Yin in a Gai Wan, an Yixing teapot, and a Western style teapot. So let's get started! Here's what you will need to brew Tia Guan Yin in a Gai Wan. A Gai Wan, of course, a sharing pot, and a teacup. A filter is nice to have if you don't like any leaves in your cup, but I'll skip it today. I always warm up the vessel before brewing, then toss the leaf in. Today's main character is Tia Guan Yin. The greenish leaves give off a beautiful orchid fragrance and makes a refreshing and crisp sip. It's a great morning tea for me. We'll fill the Gai Wan until it's about one-third full of Tia Guan Yin, so that once the tea expands, the Gai Wan will be nearly full of leaf. Mmm, I can smell the aroma of the leaves already. With Tia Guan Yin, we will definitely be using boiling water. First, I'll give the tea a short rinse. This will encourage those tightly rolled balls to loose up and prepare them for our first infusion. Once the rinse water is out, we'll dive right back in. The first infusion is going to take a little bit longer as we still need to give the tea some time to continue to unravel and loosen up. The rinse helps with this, but it will still take some time. Alright, once the infusion is ready, we'll pour it out and enjoy. Again, we're using liquor color as our guide as to when this infusion is ready to come out. The more you do this, the more you will develop an instinct or an intuition about when the tea is ready. To be honest, aroma plays in too. The size of a Gai Wan I chose gives more than a cup each brew, so feel free to add more cups for whoever else you are having tea with, and I do hope you are making tea with your friends and family regularly. That's what tea is about. The second infusion will be a lot faster because we used the proper tea amount in the Gai Wan, and the tea is now starting to unroll more fully. This infusion is understandably a lot faster, but you can see the liquor color is still consistent. Move on with the infusions, we add about 5 to 10 seconds for each successive infusion. This steep time and infusion thing somehow triggered my nerdy side, and voila, here is a chart for you. If you go with my recommended leave amount in the vessel and use this time curve, your brew will be fine. In total, this leaf yielded us 8 delicious infusions, and you can see in the Gai Wan, the leaf has expanded almost filling the Gai Wan to the brim. Let's move on to brewing in a lot of people's favorite vessel for Tie Guan Yin. Okay, maybe it's just my favorite vessel, the Yixing teapot. These are more than just adorable little teapots too. They provide fantastic heat retention and slightly enhance the flavor profile of the tea. So you will need an Yixing teapot, a cup, and a sharing pot. Again, we'll first warm up the vessels and rinse our tea. And of course, we're always using freshly boiled water with Tie Guan Yin. We're aiming to have the teapot just about full of leaf once it expands, so I'll use the same one-third full technique that I use for the Gai Wan. Of course, it can be a little harder to tell in the dark interior of a teapot, but we'll find a way to get close to our optimum leaf amount. We're not making dedicated pastries here, so there's definitely margin for some error. Don't worry about it too much, just get as close as you can. When I am bringing in a teapot, I fill it to the ring. It will overflow a little bit when we place the lid on, and we'll give it a little splash on the outside. This gets the whole teapot nice and hot, so the water inside can retain its temperature. Similar to Gai Wan brewing, the second and the third infusions are going to be much quicker than the first. And we'll pretty much be flashing infusing until we notice the leaf starts to slow down. 
We ended up getting 8 infusions for this great tea. For brewing in a western teapot, we used the stylish cold brew vessel that was gifted to us. Just humor us and pretend this is a teapot. If you are using this method for your travel mug brewing, you are on the right track and you won't need the cups. Just swig away when the tea is cool enough. Let's toss the leaf into the teapot or the travel mug and add the boiling water. So we rinse the tea in both Gai Wan and Yixing teapot brewing, but we won't be rinsing the tea leaf here. The primary reason for rinsing the leaf before is to loosen the leaf up because they are whole leaves, not cut up pieces like tea bags. If you prefer not to rinse the tea when doing gongfu brewing, your first infusion will be longer. Considering the gongfu brewing leaf and water ratio, that will pull out slightly more bitterness and astringency, so we recommend a rinse for those methods. For the western teacup brewing, the leaf will obviously be sitting there the whole time, so we are tuning our leaf amount to minimize bitterness and astringency. Not to mention our conceptual teapot is a bit tricky to do the rinsing. And again, liquor color is our friend telling us when the tea is ready. Time to enjoy some tea! And that, my friend, is how to brew Tianguan in a Gaiwan, a Yixin teapot, or a Western style teapot. We love hearing from you, so please leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts about this video. It really helps us make better videos in the future. And don't be shy if you have any questions. Please give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. I'm Jin from Jin Tea. Until next time, keep it steamy.